It's a relatively bold statement saying that you're unable to use large entities correctly or that you're using them wrong, but this is simply because of the fact that people aren't using collision damage correctly. This video is going to show you exactly how you can use collision damage on all large entities. This is also a part two to my previous Scarbrand video that I made, but what I did badly there was just specifically scope it towards Scarbrand and not make it broad to every single large entity. That's what this video is made to aim to do. Maybe we're wondering what collision damage is, and effectively it is when you can do up to 70 damage, of which 70% is armor piercing, if you are a larger entity size than the person you are currently charging into. But let's use this as an example. We'll see Nikari doing absolutely incredible damage to these goblins, that is leveraging the collision damage we mentioned. And just to prove that it is not subjective to any of the demon factions, aka the Scarbron or Nikari, let's watch uh, Kolek absolutely crush through some goblins real quick. And look at this, look at the damage that we're doing just running through these guys. That works for things like Mammoth and anything really, really big, but also this works for Cavalry, but it's a lot harder to quantify in a video and describe it and show it as a visual because the damage numbers are obviously a little bit smaller because there's less mass and there's more, more than likely less speed depending on what the unit you're using. And that's the main calculus of what you need to determine the collision damage you will do to the specific enemy. So if you've played Rotom 2, you'll know what this kind of mechanic is like, as you'll be using chariots in there, where they do incredible damage, but this is also the demonstration of Cetra and his ability to do charge damage, sort of collision damage, excuse me, but just look at the levels of damage you can do for the low, low price of free, because instead of attacking this unit, I attack the unit behind them, forcing my character to effectively charge through, as they're in the animation of, like, running in that regard. If you're wondering how you effectively determine the collision damage, I'll have a video that is posted on the screen now, alongside of the other video where I go into more detail of how you can actually achieve the damage uh, significantly easier. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this massively helped you because this is super, super useful information, especially when it comes to, you know, uh, making the most out of specific characters in game. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves.